Hey guys, what's up? So I just noticed this on uh, Holly's website. So version five software. So I think it must have just came out because I looked on the site about a month ago. It didn't see this. So yeah, I'm gonna do an upgrade. So I'm gonna actually use my uh, 3.5 inch test screen. Hope you can see what I'm doing the mouse. Yes, you can. <clears throat> and I uh, already copied everything to my SD card here. So. Um, you're dragging it over, you can see it. So, uh, this is the first. I actually have to upgrade the uh, 3.5 inch test screen at the same time. So, that's the version 5 firmware that I copied over. And then on the firmware, uh, I copied over directly. So, what I did is I, I created this folder called FW0500. So, I don't know if it checks this folder because that's the original way I used to upgrade. I had to create a folder with the version number on it, like that. But then I also copied it to this main directory here. So, um, yeah, the firmware file is not very big at all. So, <clears throat> all right. So, uh, I'm going to upgrade the thing to version 5. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, hopefully the car starts. So, first I'm going to back up the configuration. But there's two different ways I can upgrade this. I can either upgrade it from the uh, my touch screen or my I have a, a tablet that's permanently mounted on my, my, my uh, truck. Windows tablet, so but I first need to upgrade the software on that, that device too. But it's actually to me, I think it's easier just to do it right from the touch screen. So I'll show you that real quick how I do it. But uh, all right, let's get this going. So awesome! All right, guys. So I can't remember if I turn this thing first on because I have that new firmware file in the root directory that it might upgrade this touch screen automatically. See there, right there, file check. That's what I remember from last time. If it finds a new firmware file on the root directory of that flash card, or I mean the SD card, that's how you update this touch screen. It just will automatically find the newest version. So that's what it's doing right now. It's upgrading the uh, touch screen here to version five. So also, yeah, make sure, before you do any of this stuff, make sure your battery sync it to a battery charger or extremely 100% charged, but I, I would still put it on a battery charger because you can basically brick these devices if you don't, uh, if they power off while they're uh, doing that firmware upgrade. Just like any kind of computer or, or network hardware or whatever. All right, guys. All right, so it said complete. Uh, it says remove SD card, but I don't normally do that. I'm probably going to get an error because I'm running version 5 firmware now and version 4 on the ECU. So I still have to upgrade the ECU. Let's see where it says connect to ECU, but the not supported device firmware. So, um, yeah, I knew I'd get that warning. So it's basically telling me to upgrade the firmware on the ECU. All right. All right, guys, quick uh, warning. So make sure you back up your configuration before you upgrade your firmware. Because when you upgrade the firmware, it blows out the whole ECU. Everything's stored in the uh, flash. Um, Non-volatile memory, NVRAM. Um, okay, I can. There's, it keeps on complaining. You can do it that way, or you can just go up. But let's go back. That way I can keep on complaining. Let's see, file. Um, okay, see that? This is the firmware I have lined up. That's five right there. I hope you can see that. If you're right on there. Closer. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to let it do its thing and then reboot. And then what's going to happen is, well, I'll get to that point. I'll show you when I get there. All right. All right, guys. So it said it was completed. And I should probably have to cycle this device. And... When I cycle this device, the fuel pump should probably be uh, stuck on. Alright. Okay. ECU version firmware. Why am I still getting version 4 stuff, though? Um... Like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of here to see what I'm seeing here. Okay. Okay. That's. That's kind of different. It changed. It has multiple screens now, it looks like. I can't. Multi gauge. Home. Okay, so back. Okay. Okay, we're home. 
Well, that's interesting. Normally, like I said in the, fa in the past, before it would erase my configuration file. So let's check the monitor and see if I'm getting a. Like normally, I'd actually have to redo my uh, transmission. Uh... Okay, there. Yeah, that is correct. So yeah, so it doesn't have a configuration file. Yeah, I also have to reset my uh, throttle position sensor. Hope you can see that. You're not getting glare. All right, I'll do that right now. All right, cool. Yeah, guess a little bug. My custom dash. It's. Uh, I didn't actually upload the file yet, but my custom dash is gone. So that kind of sucks. All right. Um. All right. Let me get this config file uploaded, and I'll go from there. All right, guys. Got version five going here. Um. So I also actually upgraded to version 5 on my tablet here. But I am going to keep version 4 on there in case there's a problem. Right there. That way I can go back if I have to. You know, if I had to downgrade back to version 4 if there's some kind of serious issue or something. Alright, close that out. Alright, so... Let's see here. Um, actually, I forgot to show you how you save a configuration file on your device. Turn it back on. I don't know why it still says version 4 though, like here, I, I don't know why it's, it's, this still shows up as version 4, here then I'm running version 5. Um, Alright, so that's not really that big of an issue, the car starts, I know I'm running version 5, so you've got a file, ECU globals, I've already saved the configuration, that's from today, 6-15-2019. So you'd basically just hit download from ECU, and you, either you can save it, the last configuration file name, or you can create a new one, like a different date. You know, that should bring up a keyboard. See that right there? So, all right, that's how you do it, version 15. Like I said, it's just kind of like a learning experience. You know, I've done it, I've been messing with it since version two. And back then, version two, it was global file, global folders. It wasn't really a global file. Um, so it was a little bit different. The file structure was different back then. But uh, yeah, one of my, my my truck used to be Holy Terminator. Now it's multi-port fuel injection. But all right, so that's my bad. So let's double check. Uh, version five. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why that. Like I said I don't know why version four keeps on showing up. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I, I don't really. I'm running Holy HP. Well, originally a Terminator, but. Alright, uh, monitor. Now I have to reset my dash up again, which kind of sucks. Um, actually, monitor. I have to go back and let's see. Uh, multi gauge. This originally was my one here, so I'll custom set that up again. But that's it. Cool, guys. Awesome.